So let's jump right into it. Game number one. Uh, you're going to be happening on PS2. Yeah, no surprises there. We've got an intense mid-stage scramble. Both of these teams trying to figure out a clean opening. Wow, Fatality, though, responding to the block pressure with up the other shield, and he turns it into a kill. <laughs> that was nuts. I cannot believe he got that. But right off the gate, you know, you get the first stop within the first 20 seconds against Light, of all players. Yeah, that's going to put a damper on their strategy. Let's see if they can try to recover from that. Again, it is very early on. Try to go with some, some of those uh, early kills. Up the out of shield, so reliable for Falcon. Not the best out of shield game out there, but if there's enough lag, yeah. that actually reaches quite far and has a lot of knockback too. It also beats shield, obviously. Being obviously, yes. Yeah. yeah, so if your opponent lands with something safe and they Ooh, just double. throw their shield up, you could crack through it. But man, this looks pretty good for the green team. Obviously, yeah. leading by a stock, but they are both bloody. We're going to see how long Light's able to survive. Wow, the gentleman almost knocking him out at 120 yeah. after the hit. He's going to need some help. You see now trying to come over, but uh, you know, we got AI just doing a phenomenal job just pushing him back, letting Fatality rock his thing. All right, so I guess Nova Pixel has changed the tag to I. Yeah. Yeah. I. I. Yeah. I. 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 Nova Pixel, we knew, you. we knew you well. I think he's changed the tag like four times, so that's fine. Reminds me of Hyper Kirby. Yeah, hasn't he always been? Hyper oh, wait, not Hyper Kirby. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're talking the about. The other Roy. The other Roy. Yeah, I forget yeah, his yeah. name. He's challenging so much. Yeah, I know exactly <laughs> what you're talking about, man. Either way, oh, going to see the wall tech into the down B from Nairo, but not landing the spike. And that could be devastating for Captain Falcon. He managed to get that tech. It leaves himself wide open to be able to get whatever punish afterwards you want. Light and Fatality have just been duking it out this whole time. Meanwhile, Nairo and I scrapping it on the other side of the stage. Got some grabs. Some stage right. control for Green Team right now. He recognized that he was trying to recover high, had that back air ready to go, but managed to get back to the stage. He just oh lands with it! He Lord. just lands with it in center stage, but now he's going to be able to survive. Still alive, 91%. Gets the granite stake, gets the up B. It's going to be both players from red team dying in synchronization yet again. Honestly, I was about to tell you right before that bloodbath we saw that yeah. whoever loses the next stock, that team's losing this match. And right now that's red team, so they're in the red. hot seat. I don't want to speak too soon for them, but... Yeah. Green team's at high percent, so if they exactly. both lose their stocks right now, this is red team's game to win. Still very doable. Oh, the back air from Ness. So close to killing Light. But he's going to hang on. And can he reach? Yes, he can. Oh, Fox he's trying to go for the down air. Oh. I'm shocked that Fatality lived that one. Wait, what? what is going on? Zerusu just fell to her death. Everyone's disappearing from the stage right now. If Light goes out here, then Nairo is left alone with two demons, especially in the 2v1. Right. Ness, very hard to hit. Short characters, not easy for ZSS. If Light's just going to deuce out of there with the Fox Illusion, just go out of wait, wait, uh, harm's way. Big punish from Ness. Oh, whoops it. Yeah, you're going to get killed by the up air. Now we have ourselves a 1v1. We got Zero Suit versus Captain Falcon, Nairo versus Fatality. And hey, this is a MobileCon Classic. Honestly, yeah, this is last year. I think it was two, two years, years ago. Two years yeah, ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2017. Yeah, man, Nairo, two-time MobileCon champion. Yep. He's had to deal with Fatality in the way of that before. Again and again. Let's see. This is his time to shine. He held down to be able to get that grab. Very even percent. Now, what's interesting is that Nairo ZSS in Ultimate still a little bit green, right? Uh, aside from the fact that he's on the green team. Right. But no, I Fatality's got that. been sticking with the Captain Falcon the whole time. So we're going to see in a singles environment, in a, the most controlled setting you could get. No light to back him up. How is he going to do? And Fatality able to clean it up, catching the flip jump with that back air. Of course, that's the go-to option when Zero Suit players are off the stage. And Nairo getting caught up in that habit. Fatality all over it. Fantastic coverage coming from Vitality. I could not believe that he, he like you said, he, he was going to go for that little hop jump there. He managed to space his back here ever so slightly, be able to find that kill. In game one, surprisingly going to AI and Fatality. I mean, honestly, if they win this, I, I think they would consider that an upset. Uh, if they win this set, yes, if that's an upset. Set, yeah. I don't want to don't want to call it an upset yet. Right. I don't think it's that shocking that these guys were able to take a game. Mm. But, uh, yeah. They That's got certainly some good stuff. I think what helped them out a lot is that they. Uh, I felt like Light was just getting obliterated a majority of that game, like especially early on when he just got set up by Fatality, like got need at like 15 seconds into the game, lost his stock. So maybe we'll see Light trying to hang on to his stocks a little bit more instead of trying to go in all the time and get those, uh, you know, his combos going. He was he was doing a good job of it, you know, getting those uh, up air pickups. And we'll get those kills. So let's see how the game's going to change. You see them trying to discuss what stage you want to go to, maybe discussing a game plan change. Or a character change, yeah. Because of course, Nairo's been rocking Palutena for the vast majority of this game's lifespan. Zero Suit, again, this is one of the first tournament appearances she's made. I think he did try her at Collision against Mars mm -hmm. for one game of the Ditto, but it didn't work out. So just tried it out. We'll, we'll see what's going to be changing. And uh, to borrow a quote from my man Hazmat that he used during one of our combo blocks, and see if they're going to change the game plan or the floor plan or both. 
floor plan. I like that. Yeah, yeah, right. Like, I feel like I'm at a restaurant. So when, when you run it back to the same stage, it's like, oh, I changed the game plan, not the floor plan. And I, I was just <laughs> like, man, that spoke to me on a deep level. On, on, on a spiritual level, man. Yeah. So let's see what's going on here. They're taking quite some time to try to figure this out. I mean, honestly, I don't see no timer anywhere, so we might, might as well take your time. The thing is, I wonder what would have happened if Nairo was Palutena at the end there. Palutena versus Captain Falcon. Right, that's what I was thinking, yeah, because, I mean, obviously we know he's going to be good with whatever character he picks. He's got a lot of experience with Zero Suit from Smash 4, but, yeah, okay, going to stick to his guns right now. I like this choice. Hopefully it works out for him. And Palutena, of course, with those really long low percent combos, right? So right. Captain Falcon... Optimal target for some of those big body, heavy fastball. And you know, Nair's got that like little big, big, big little circle around her, so managing to catch both of the players, that's gonna be just tons of juicy damage. And again, trying to go back to the two 1v1s again. Aiko still, you know, finding his opponent in the form of Nairo. Oh, no, the 1v1's switching it up. <laughs> there we go. Of course, you can't expect uh, any kind of static outcome in a doubles match. Oh, it's going to be back and forth between who's fighting who. But sometimes you really do feel that grudge, right, where it's like, man, this guy is targeting me. i got to send him a message, let him know he can't do that. Exactly. And you see Light trying to get this run back against Fatality. Okay, good good response. You have a Palutena trying to go for an edge guard against Falcon. Yeah, Fatality missing the edge without upbeat. Cost him dearly because now he's off stage running this edge guard loop. Nairo is... Okay, Fire coming to save and make sure that Fatality couldn't get followed up on by Palu. And there we go. Going to drop off. Second jump back air. Send Fatality out of there. Meanwhile, on the other side, we got Light trying to get this edge guard against Aiko. You see him trying constantly putting him onto that ledge, but they're both at pretty even percent. Scenario coming in to save the day, playing frontliner here with the Nairs. And trying to get in there to get the punish on the punish. Oh, the call out! Wow. My god. Light just side being a little bit too close. Going to have a little extra run time on that yep. illusion. And... Fatality is going to send him to the depths for it. Wow, standing by, though, and watching his partner get up smashed. I going to drop his first stock. Ness, a fairly tanky character in his own right, but wow, Fatality responding with yet another down air to close the stock. This man is on fire right now. This is the Fatality that I know and love. This is the one that just goes out there, gets the spikes, goes oh, super oh, deep. Oh, no, Nairo's, Nairo's dead. He killed him at 28%. Nairo missed the ledge tech, and I think even if he didn't, he was in a really ugly spot underneath the stage. It would have been tough for him to fish his way out of there. But wow, the explosive flame immediately responding. These guys have beef right now. Nairo yeah. and Fatality are duking it out. And I think everyone else is just in spectator mode at this point. Oh, got rapid job. Friendly fire for both, both of these teams, guys, yeah. literally. PK fire. There's so much rage in their eyes that, they, they, that they're they blind, you know? Oh, God. Oh, Fatality, what an insane play off the stage. And trying to make it even crazier by hitting light with that down air. Not going to work out for him. Let's try and desperately get back onto that stage. Now, red team, turn the tables on them. Gets the back air. That's going to be AI stock. Going to be able to share stocks to take away from Fatality. So you can come back into the day. Lands the back air immediately. A slight lead in the favor of green team, but it could easily be deleted. Going to be able to survive that back air throw. Good DI coming out from light. All right. Oh, oh, just sending him down again. Fatality relentless right now. Three. Light was at like 120, 130%. There was no need to do him like that. But hey, any way to get a stock off is a good way. And honestly, that was three spikes, man. Can I get four? Can I get four of those down airs? He's looking for it. He's looking for it. Even if it's not going to be a kill, he's just looking to pop them up and maybe pop them into knee or up air or back air. That move, of course, so good now that he can't tech it into the ground. A little bit safer on block just due to how the shield mechanics have changed as well. And everyone is hitting their partners at this point. Yeah. Light and I are looking like they're kind of stepping on each other's toes. These guys are both very aggressive players. They need to chill out just a little bit. And Fatality not able to hit the angle that Light went for. I love that riding the wall. And you see Nairo trying to apply pressure oh! to get help out Light, but gets the back here again. We have yet ourselves another 1v1, but now Nairo's playing his main, Palutena, in this situation. And it's against I and not Fatality, of course. Yeah. I, a very strong player from Georgia, consistently ranked in the top five throughout Smash 4 here. But, oh, jeez! He geez. actually did that? Super Saiyan finish right there. He's popping off in the background. He's, I heard the stage. I heard the jump. Shake. Yeah. My man wow. popped off so hard. I mean, that was a, such a good call. Instead of letting that match dread on, and allow Nairo to be able to play like a little bit of a catch-up game afterwards. He immediately just went for the down B, crossed him up off the platform drop with a back air, solidifying that kill, because I think the entire time, Nairo was suspecting a grab. Because why wouldn't you? You're playing Ness, you're playing someone against who has high percent. Of course yep. you want that grab in the back yep. though. So when he just came in with a cross-up back air, especially using the CI Magnet,